Okay, so after last night's live video um, on YouTube, which I think we're going to do again. Those were really, really fun. Probably on Sunday nights. We haven't picked a time yet. Put in the comments what you think you would like. But people keep asking about the internet. I keep saying that I'm going to do a video about how we do internet and how we get it. So let's talk about that. First of all, we should probably talk about usage. So um, everybody's usage is different. If you are just a casual, hey, I need to check my email a couple of days a week, you know, etc. It's possible that just like tethering your phone to your computer is enough. For us, because of the limitations on bandwidth, usually 25 to 30 gigs, depending on who your provider is, that can, we can run out. And so since I have two, three YouTube channels and we're uploading a video like every day this month, for example, on Music and Mascara, and we're doing two live videos a week now, um, one on each channel, we're doing, um, you know, we're shooting lots of video. So we would run out of bandwidth. The other thing is, is that Leslie's real job, she's sitting here doing her real job right now, she has to have stable internet eight to five, Monday through Friday, normal job hours. And you have to run like Zoom meetings. What else? Like what are some higher bandwidth stuff that you have to run? Um, Zoom meetings for sure. Um, bandwidth wise, I do a lot with files. So downloading and then re-uploading files and running virtual machine. It's kind of tough. I don't know that that's tough on the internet, but it's definitely tough on usage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. So we have to have stable internet. So the company that we have found is called Fire Wi-Fi. We'll leave a link to it in the description. We do not get paid by them or anything, but I will tell you they are fantastic. I called the company. I said, this is how much I use. I'm a YouTuber. When we got it, I was doing a video every day for my Dylan Talks Tone channel. And yeah, his, full circle. Yeah, right. And his guy and the guy was like, Oh, my son has a YouTube channel and he uses this and it's amazing and you'll never run out of bandwidth. What he said was that the average household uses two hundred gigs of bandwidth every month. And if you use up that much on a routine basis, it's possible that they will talk to us about maybe getting another account. We have been running right around there and we have not had any issues. They have not throttled us. They have not done anything. And I think instead of throttling us, they would want us to just pay for two. Mm -hmm. They don't want to throttle you. So I really, really like that. But the average user, we're way above average. I think. Probably. I, mean, I don't know. Are talking about internet? I'm just yeah. Kidding. Way above. <laughs> so uh, that's what we use. And this is the unit. Um... It has a Wi-Fi router built in, and so it gives you a secured um, internet connection throughout the whole coach. So we have three TVs with Amazon Fire Sticks on them. We have my other desktop up there that we use. We have all of our cell phones, both of our cell phones and iPads and my other little laptop. It, it all works. You just log it in like normal, like you're on the internet at home. Mm -hmm. Boom, you're good. Anything to add to that that you can think of? Not specifically to that device, no. Okay. What if you don't have very good cell phone reception because this is cellular internet? There is a SIM card in there, um, and sometimes we don't get good cellular reception. So we have a thing for that. Okay. So when we don't have very good cellular reception for our internet so this is our internet but this requires cellular reception we use the we boost drive 4g x rv edition and what this thing is and it's real important to understand what it actually does it has i'll show you the outside we'll go outside and i'll show you the outside antenna this cable right here has a long cable on it and it goes out the window right here to an antenna on the outside of the RV. That takes existing cellular reception, sends it into this amplifier, sends it out of this amplifier 
into an inside antenna that has now boosted whatever cell phone signal we had and made it stronger so that our cellular internet will work correctly. So um, the way I like to explain this is we put this antenna up and if our cellular internet and our phones only have one bar, this thing amplifies it into four bars. That's really all it does. This does not get you cellular reception that you do not have but it takes any minimal amount of cellular reception that you do have and amplifies it to make it stronger. So it takes one bar and turns it into four. Let me go outside and I will show you the antenna and how we hook it to the motorhome. And of course, as I come outside to show you, oh, wrong with work. The antenna, it gets windy. So here's what I got. This is the antenna for the Wii Boost. It's really very simple. It's just a omnidirectional antenna. I bought a one inch sewer pipe from Home Depot and put it on. And then what we do is we just run the wire out the window on the other side and then we suction cup it to the side of the motorhome. I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so basically what I do is I just lean it right here and then I go in the window, I open the window um, and I reach out and you might be able to see a little ring from the last time I did it, but that's where I suction cup it. Um, I went to Techno RV and I ordered this suction cup. Um, it was like 35 bucks. I'll, I'll leave a link to it in the description of the video. Um, we'll leave a links to all of this stuff in the description of the video so you can buy it on Amazon. If you use those links, obviously that helps the channel out just a little bit. It doesn't cost you anything extra and we do appreciate it. Um, a couple of notes about this setup. This is a suction cup. At high elevation, like 5,000 feet, 6,000 feet, it doesn't stick very good. Um, it had it fall, it fell off a couple of times um, at normal elevation it's no big deal um, and it works pretty awesome the other thing is make sure that the surface is clean otherwise it will fall off um, super big temperature extremes where it's really hot during the day and really cold during the day it will fall off so just know that before you use it other than that it works pretty good now that I've got it sorted I think it's pretty sweet um, People have asked us many times, why don't you just permanently mount it so that it's always working and then you can wire it into your 12 volt system and it'll be boosting your signal all the time. Um, the reason for that is, is the goofy setup that we have here because our work area is on a slide. So this is our living room, our dinette and our refrigerator. And if I was to like mount it to the mirror or the, if I was to mount it to the, the ladder in the back, it, there would be no real way to run the cables correctly so and we don't always use it we don't always need it so like right now we don't need it because we're in Springfield Illinois everything seems fine and we don't need it so I just leave it stowed um, so you know there's no problem and what I also like about it is the way we do mount it it's really really high they, re they recommend that the antenna be above like your air conditioners and stuff but for us that takes us over a legal maximum vehicle height because we're already pretty tall. So I like to take it down and stow it when I'm not using it. Okay, so that is the main way we get internet is 4G cellular internet to that device. We boost it if we don't have enough cellular coverage and that company does give us pretty good bandwidth. Now, when we first started our RV journey, we got the WineGuard Connect 2.0 system on the roof. And if you'll recall that video, we, re, we installed a switch right here so that we can turn it on and off. So it's off right now, we're not really using it. And it goes up through here and then onto the roof. Um, we'll show you a clip of what it looks like. It's a pretty cool device. And what that does is that allows us to steal other people's internet. Many times 
when people talk about this stuff, they always ask us, how do you handle your Wi-Fi? But I want to be very clear here that your internet provider with cellular service is like a cell phone. Wi-Fi is completely different. Wi-Fi is someone else's internet, be it Starbucks or your mom's house or um, an RV park. They have an internet provider and they broadcast it out and you pick it up with your Wi-Fi device, be it your phone, your laptop, your whatever. That is not your own internet, you're using someone else's. The WineGuard Connect 2.0 allows us to be able to be like a mile away from an from a, a device like that and be able to pick up somebody else's Wi-Fi. McDonald's, Starbucks, your mom's house, etc. As long as we can log into it and have the security stuff. The downside to it is is it's 2.4 gigahertz and that is a slower bandwidth operation than many at Wi-Fi systems usually so we have found that when we're at her mom's house in the driveway and they have pretty fast internet if we use this to pick up the Wi-Fi it slows it down because it's only 2.4 gigahertz therefore we do not use it very often I do like having it because in a pinch any internet is good internet and so if we need some internet and that's all we can get then that's what we use and we use somebody else's even if I have to drive somewhere pull in a parking lot and use Starbucks for example because even during quarantine Starbucks were closed but you could still pull up and use their internet in that case that thing was pretty awesome the other way it's really super useful to us is that internet that we use, the normal one, the Fire Wi-Fi, is AT&T based. It has a blue SIM card in there like an AT&T SIM card. This also has a SIM card in it that we can use it for a cellular hotspot. It has a bandwidth of 25 gigs or whatever um, limit. However, we do use it in emergencies because it's Verizon. So now we're covered with Verizon and AT&T, and usually we have seamless internet. All of that being said, we are super happy with that thing right there. Fire Wi-Fi is amazing. It works, and when it doesn't, or kind of works, we amplify it with a Wii Boost, and we have basically everything that we need. It works amazing. So I guess it would be fair to see how good this supposed internet is. So let's just do a quick speed test on my phone. Now this is very cool. You see the 11.3 megabits per second down. That may seem discouraging. However, look at the 26.8 megabits up. That is the number that is important because when we are uploading YouTube videos, when Leslie is uploading files, that sort of stuff, that upload speed actually is more important to us than the download speed. That download speed is plenty for Netflix, for Amazon Prime, for any of your streaming video services, YouTube, all that kind of stuff, it's totally fine. I think Netflix requires five or four or something for 4K video, so that's totally fine. Um, that sh we should tell you, all of our TVs are 1080p. We don't have 4K TVs in here. It's a little bit older of a coach so we only have 1080p but that's fine with me because that keeps our bandwidth you know 25 percent of what it could be if they were all 4k televisions so that is perfectly good speed and actually that's a little slow usually it's faster than that so uh, that gives you an idea on a normal average day that is a little bit slow 
it's plenty of internet for most people. Even me, who uploads videos to YouTube every day this month. So I'm editing this video and I realized that I didn't really shoot any kind of ending for it. So um, hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions about internet stuff, put it in the comments. We would love to answer it. Um, we are doing a live hangout. I think we decided 9.30 Eastern time on Sunday night. Um, so if you have a question, put it in the comments below. We'll try to get to it on Sunday. If you really want to get your questions answered about it, watch that live on Sunday. Hang out in the chat. Be part of the thing. We'd love to do it. We did it last Sunday. It was super fun. Uh, yesterday. It was super fun. Uh, other than that, I guess for my 31 videos of October, I guess we'll see you tomorrow. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button. Links to everything are in the description. If you use those links, obviously that helps us out. It doesn't cost you anything extra. Thank you so much, and we will see you tomorrow.